Hi everyone, I'm Rich, um, and I'm the Stadia Punk. Why am I the Stadia Punk? It's just a stupid name, really. No, it's um, a couple of days ago. I wanted to um, buy Cyberpunk, but it ran like garbage on um, PS4 and Xbox, and I've got PS5, and even though um, it runs better in backwards compatibility mode um it still looked a bit wanky um so um sorry i'm being blinded by this light um yeah so i, I was put off um playing it really i was a bit gutted because i was looking forward to playing cyberpunk uh so i was looking at um Stadia and they've got a free trial going so I uh, took up their pro trial and I was really impressed by uh, how well it ran and I've got a really rubbish um, internet connection um, but it ran I played it on my phone and I played it on my crappy PC and it ran really, really well. Um, and then I saw that they were doing, Stadia were doing a promotion where you, if you buy um, Cyberpunk, you get this. You get this free. So I. Um, Took them up on the offer because if you, you get two hours to play the game and if you're not happy you get your money back so i thought if it comes to the worst then i'll get a refund and then i'll just send that back but um yeah i was really impressed by how 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 this ran how well this ran and um yeah i Bought the game on Sunday, just gone, and I got the email through the day after saying gives you the link of the code to claim this. So I did that straight away because they stopped the promotion earlier than they were supposed to because it was so popular. I mean, you buy a game, you get a free controller and Chromecast. Um, and I ordered it on the Monday and it came yesterday, um, which was really quick, a day earlier than they said it would. And um, yeah, I was really impressed with it. But the reason I was making this video is because I've always trashed the Stadia since it started. And... Um, I was slagging it off like a lot of people. Because um, I've always been a physical gamer. Um, I've never bought into like buying digital purchases on PlayStation Store and stuff. And I'm not a fanboy of any platform. I've got a Switch and a PlayStation. I had an Xbox, but I didn't really get on with it. Um, I thought... I bought the Xbox Series X and it was just like I was playing on the Xbox One X really I know they and it took so long to download anything I know I've got a crap internet connection but um, yeah so um, I tried this and uh, I think my download speed is 33 megabits per second so it's nothing it's not 4K quality when you play on Stadia, but Stadia, Stadia. Um, yeah, and Cyberpunk is really good. It looks a lot better than the PS4 and the PS5 versions. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, sorry, I was, uh, 
need to slap myself around a bit and wake up. Yeah, but I was really... Like, this is a platform where... Because I paid like of eye-watering £450 for my PS5. And for a lot of people, they can't afford to buy into like an ecosystem like if you you're going from ps4 to ps5 that's a big jump and especially the current climate a lot of people don't have that sort of money and i was very fortunate to um get my hands on one um yeah so i think it's it's made me um reevaluate my opinion on Google and Stadia, because I was one of the people saying, oh, it won't last, they'll cancel it. Um, but it seems to be the Stadia platform's killer app, as it would be, because Cyberpunk has really sort of pushed it up and shown people what it can do, you know. Because... Um, apart from a high-end PC platform, it's one of the better ways of playing Cyberpunk. And, uh, yeah, it's sort of made, I know PlayStation has a lot of exclusives and you get 4K and everything. But looking at, like, I've played, um, like the PlayStation 5 launch games. Uh, play. I loved um, the new Spider-Man game, Miles Morales. And I thought it was really impressive, and I played Demon Souls and Rage Quit several times. And um, But if this sort of promotion came out before the PS5 sort of pre-order phase, I might have thought differently about it. Um, yeah, the game, like the new games are expensive, but, um, there's also discounted games. It's like, if you do the pro subscription, you get a discount on games and they're all, you know, older games and there's nothing new, new, like there's the new Assassin's Creed on there and, uh, a couple of other recent games, but the majority are sort of older games, but it's a new service. It's going to get better as it goes along, which I hope it, it will do. Um, yeah, I just hope it will last. And I thought it was important to not be an a-hole and sort of, sort of slate a new gaming service before everyone's tried it, because on Reddit a lot of people have the same sort of opinion, like, oh, you know... I was wrong, which I think is good. It's good to admit that you're being a prick or you were wrong about service before you've even tried it. And I, I'm going to keep playing. I've put like two hours into Cyberpunk. I haven't really done much because I was like, ooh, you know, trying to trip up the system, you know, see if there's any lag or anything. There isn't any lag, which I was really surprised around. I've, there's two settings for... Um, there's two graphical settings, there's performance, which is um, lower resolution, low, lower sort of resolution with 60 frames per second, and there's like higher fidelity, like better graphical settings, and um, lower frame rate, and they both work really well. Um, I'm looking forward to playing more, and I know PlayStation and Xbox have their own versions of it, like you can play on your phone and stuff. And I tried uh, Game Pass on my phone, and for some reason it plays really wanky on there. Like It's really stuttery, and there is a lot more lag than there is on Stadia, which I was really surprised about. But I, each system works differently, I don't know. But um, And I tried... PlayStation now on the PS4. 
Um, not on the PS5, so I don't know how that runs, but it was, um, yeah, it was an eye-opening experience. I thought it was worth talking about and see what other people think of it. Because a lot of people are fanboys, some people aren't, but they still say it's shit. But have you actually tried it? Um, sorry if it keeps going funny with the screen, the sun is sort of like, eh! Uh, <laughs> But I just wanted to get a community going about it, talk about it. I met a lot of interesting people and sort of read it about Stadia and I've got sort of friends list already from people who aren't knobhead, you know, they're quite happy to be friendly and welcoming, which I found some areas of PS, PlayStation and Xbox a bit toxic. But I haven't come across any toxic people on Stadia, which is another bonus, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to have this conversation going more and maybe have a podcast session with other people that want to discuss it more. But let me know what you think about my shit video and um, I'll speak to you soon.